Hello and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Uh, it's Saturday, okay? Um, got my dog here. Wife recording. Hello, wife. It's Hello. been a while. Not been a while be between us. We see each other every day. <laughs> but it's been a while since you recorded a video. We just finished Stranger Things, okay? Yeah, and, it was awesome. Uh, Awesome. I'm, I'm in. Okay. I'm invested. Okay. And uh, I want to see where it goes, but I'm on this 80s high right now. So what, what do you do in an 80s high? You, you review figures from the 80s. Well, this figure's not from the 80s, but you know, it represents the 80s and 90s. This Ninja Turtles, Mousers, uh, six pack. I think there's six in them. Uh, okay. So here's the deal. Um, a, a lot of people are getting this uh, from NECA. I actually got this one from AliExpress, okay? No, it is not a knockoff, okay? Let me clear the air here, okay? AliExpress, uh, they are a, uh, um, you know, they get NECA products and they sell them from abroad, okay? And uh, I think China or Japan, I don't know where exactly, but I think the deal is that because they're closer to the factories, they get, they sometimes get things before uh, we do, stateside, okay? So... That's why you'll see stuff uh, like like this, like this Mousers pack, like uh, 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 Usagi Ojimbo is on there. And then there's a bunch of people that have gotten stuff from AliExpress. Um, I took a chance because I said, I don't know, maybe I get the Mousers a little sooner or at least get one pack that I can review. So I'm still waiting for like the four of them that I ordered from NECA. I still have not received those, no confirmation. I don't know whether it's because I ordered them with some foot soldiers Maybe they got to pack it all together or something, but uh, I do have this one in, and uh, yeah, not a knockoff. Everybody thinks that as soon as something comes up, they can just knock it off. It takes time to do knockoffs, okay? You got to fucking pr reproduce, produce the figure, reproduce the figure, produce the packaging. It's just, it's just, it's just uh, 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 companies that just get this shit earlier. So we're going to go ahead and review this. Uh, before we go into this, though, I do want to say, I almost forgot, uh, but... I got this. This was a, a, a gift from a, a supporter of the channel, Mr. Relly Rel. Okay, follow him. Fan extraordinaire. Look at how fucking cool this is. This is this uh, Ninja Turtles NECA cartoon canvas. This is canvas. I don't know if you could see this, but uh, this is beautiful. This is awesome. And it's unique. And it's got... Oh, the, the turtles there, Splinter, Casey, April. That is, I love it. I fucking love this. Look at the lighting. The lighting's all dynamic. It's all moody. So uh, thank you, sir. I will treasure this, and uh, I, I will put it up on the wall. It's going up on the on the Hatter wall, okay? So, uh, so thank you very much, uh, sir. So uh, let's go ahead and put this away. And without further ado, we got these mousers. They got to get open. So we're going to go ahead and open them. So uh, let's do that, and we'll see you there. Okay, before we get into it, let me just give you guys uh, uh, the box, because I realized we didn't uh, do too much on the box. So, I mean, there you go. Okay, you got your one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, it's five and a half mousers right there on display. And then you got some broken pieces. By design, broken pieces there. Then you get the mouser art, okay? Um, this box is actually in pretty decent... Con oh, as I said that, I see this fucking thing. Out-of-box collectors, beware. That is the one thing. You order from AliExpress. I mean, they're giving it to you. Sometimes in pretty rough shape, okay? So if you're like an inbox... Did I say out-of-box? Inbox. If you're an inbox person, uh, beware. I'm Me, I'm going to just rip all these open. Sorry about the finger in the fucking camera. Uh, but uh, yeah, so this is the back right here. And you can take a look at uh, at this piece right here. They got Super, Bebop, Mighty Rocksteady, My Buddy Usagi Ojimbo, and The Missing, Toka and Razar. What's going on with these? Are they coming out? What What's happening, okay? One release and that's it? You got to fucking put these out, Neka. So without further ado, now without further ado, for realsy without further ado, let's open it up. Okay, welcome back. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. <laughs> I feel like... I'm reviewing accessories, like an accessory pack. Uh, I guess this is kind of an accessory pack, you know? Like, but I just keep waiting. I was like, where's the where's the big figure? This is it, okay? This is the mouser pack right here. Okay, so let's just get right into it. So technically here it comes with one, two, three, four whole mousers, then a fifth uh, broken into pieces mousers, uh, mouser, and then these two uh, broken up mousers. So seven mousers, that's not... That's not bad, okay? So you get seven mousers with this thing, and then quickly you go into these rats. So you get five, well, one, two, three, four, five of these regular rats right here, and then 
this sixth rat that looks a little different looks like a nicer rat okay um i think this looks like the rat that uh, hamato yoshi was feeding or is that a mouse i don't know uh but what else does it come with uh it comes with a slice of pizza comes with this vhs tape right here comes with this wedge of cheese okay and then it comes with this i thought this was cool although it's so small the the little droid thing that uh this thing dro drove me nuts in the video game, you know, with the, the zaps the little lasers at you, it comes out of the fucking, uh, the, uh, the mutant, mutant module. So yeah, that's what you're getting. So let's go ahead and now dive into the mousers, okay? Uh, let's go over these four, uh, uh, uh complete or non-damaged mousers, okay? Uh, look how adorable they are. I want to give them names. Uh, that'll be called, that's, that's mouthy and sneaky and sour face and, uh, I don't know, open face. I, I'm, I'm horrible at names, but, uh, so... Uh, let's go ahead and dive into this. Let's pull them up right here, and then I'm gonna do some comparisons with uh, with some of the other some of the other mousers. So uh, you take a look. Let's just go for sculpt. Number one, very very accurate sculpt. Okay, um, uh, mousers are simple. They're a simple sculpt, but you know I've seen them gone wrong. Okay, this is very good. I love the uh, the little teeth here. And um, in, in the middle, you have the, the this, uh, I guess, I don't know, everything just kind of goes down that little piece right there. That's his throat. And then you have the eyes with the little hole uh, in the, uh, not a hole, but like this circle that's in there. I think that's really cool. And then you have this piece at the top, paint with a little red, uh, red line in there. That's nice. And then just the legs. I mean, they're pretty simple sculpt. You know, they got the bulb bodies and uh and yeah and then and then the toes but i'll say this for as simple as sculpt it is and for how small it is it's it's constructed pretty well it feels good in your hand um so let's just go over articulation here so uh right away you get the jaw that opens it's more like it's more like i mean the bottom jaw moves no you get it. no that, that works the bottom and top jaw uh, open till about uh that much okay I think that much. I don't want to push it more than that. And then you have the head, and the head is on this ball joint right here. Okay, the ball joint is uh, attached to the body, and then you can kind of like move it this way. You can have him look uh, up. Well, here, if his body is this way, facing there, you can have him look up. I mean, he doesn't really look up, but the good thing is the body moves, so that's okay. But you can kind of have him look to the side, do all that. So pretty solid. And then. Uh, in terms of uh, articulation on the legs, so you have uh, just a swivel here, okay? It's not, it doesn't pop out like that uh, third-party one. And then uh, you have uh, the articulation right here on the knee, goes about that far. And then you have the articulation on the foot. But uh, what I like about this is look how much it articulates, the, like, straight. Like, you can go and you can straighten it this way, too. So you can do a lot of cool shit with this. And it's solid. It, it, it feels like a solid, it, it's obviously a little figure. It's a mouser, but it feels... Pretty freaking solid. So I'm really happy with this. Um, I'll, I'll do some scale. God damn it. Open. It is a little difficult to open up. You got to get, you got to get like your nail under it. But uh, yeah, really, really cool. And so that's, uh, um, and again, we'll do some scaling in a second. Let's go into the broken mouser right here. So you have the head. Look at how fucked up this guy got. I mean, all that shit is dented. And he does open up though. If you just want him to look all like, ah, just fucking desperate and, and pathetic. And then you have all the wires. This is really nice. And then right here, you got the little uh, uh, hole that's in there. And uh, you can get a, a Raphael sigh right in there. Zzz, zzz, sparks not included. Uh, so you get that. So that's pretty cool. And then you get his neck piece. He really, I mean, some turtle was really pissed off at him. He got fucking decimated. But uh, yeah, you got the little neck piece. And then you get this uh, bottom piece. I like this with the wires. You can see all of the shit in there. Take a look. That's what makes a mouser, boys and girls. Uh, but yeah, he got all fucked up. And, uh, but the legs are still articulated. He could be running. Doo, 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 doo. It's all comical. He got his head blown off. So that's cool. Then you get this mouser right here. This guy also has a hole right in his head. Or as I call it, the side holder right there. And then uh, this one is almost okay. But his head is all crunched up. So body's fine. Crunched up head. I'll call him Crunchy. Uh, so you got that right there. And uh, I think his head moves, but... Uh, yeah, there you go. So some of these, by the way, are sticky, okay? So just, uh, but it's pretty cool for a knockoff. Just kidding. It's not a knockoff. All right. So yeah, the uh, the, the the head uh, is uh, uh, opens up and you have the black lines. I like that. And then you have this guy. This guy's my favorite. So he's all fucking crunched up. His neck does not move because uh, it's, uh, he's got, um, 
His neck is, is just, look at that. Somebody just stretched him all the hell, and then he's got all these dents. But what I like the most is he's got this little rat uh, that just pops right out of his body like, hey, look at me. You know, so that's that's pretty cool. That's a nice touch. NECA always with the nice touches. Uh, so very, very happy with that. Um, you all right? Yeah, it's like the mouse is coming out of his butt. Yeah, it's coming out of his butt. Okay, yeah. <laughs> My wife is laughing because the mouse is coming out of his butt. Does that make you laugh? That, uh, that, <laughs> are you cracking up? A little. Are you cracking up? Okay. okay. All right. That's why the camera was shaky. I was like, why is she, she was, she sorry. literally was just cracking herself up. Is it funny? It just comes out of his ass. That's, uh, okay. <laughs> My wife, you have a morbid sense of humor. I'm okay. Sorry. No, it's okay. That's, I love you. Um, all right. So let's go into the rats here. Okay. So lots of rats. Uh, let's start with this one. Uh, with the with the with the tail, this is a, a good rat uh, to hold the rat king because you could put it on his arm right there. Okay, look at the paint. I mean, this is solid, solid sculpt, solid, solid paint for being so small. Look at the detail. It's tiny, but it's fucking detailed, man. It's really nice. Okay, I'm just saying they did really good work. I think this guy is new. I think this is a new sculpt. Here's this guy just begging for cheese. But look at his. Can you see his hands? Like they're all painted. This is really detailed. Well. Okay, look at his little tooth. Bravo, NECA. I mean, th these are fucking done well. Okay, here's another mouse. Again, super detailed. Uh, and by the way, nothing moves here. Although, there's the tail. No, it'll, it'll just bend back. But, uh, wow, they did a great job on the paint and the sculpt. I'm very impressed. And here's a mouse that can just kind of sit on a, on a flat surface right here. Okay. And then here's another. Uh, is this the same? No, they got two kind of like hook tail mice but uh this one is different you got it right here okay very very cool okay and then you got this one let's call him the good mouse okay because he's all happy face all happy okay good rat am i calling these mice rat i meant okay it looks I, like he's, he wants to eat the cheese. yeah he wants he's to eat the cheese food. or he wants to eat the pizza dude you got to look at this guy's fingers like it's 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 really well done for something this small i'm i don't know why i'm just really impressed by this the tail is, uh, this tail is very, wow, this is really cool. So yeah, I think he can hold pizza, okay? You can hold the pizza like that, or he can hold this block of cheese like that, that perfect block of cheese. There you go. Just escaping with all the cheese, you rascal. Uh, so that's pretty fucking cool. And then here, if you want just a close-up of this, uh, the bane of every video game player that played Ninja Turtles. There you go. You get that, and then the videotape. I went over that. So, um, in terms of okay, let's compare. All right, it's comparison time. So you got a uh, uh, Raphael right here, and in terms of how he looks next to a mouser, here is a mouser at full. I mean, this is standing up as tall as as tall as possible. So yeah, really to scale. Okay, but you know, if you kind of like crouched him down, he'd be more like it'd be more like be more like that like that i'll take some pictures by the way at the end of this but uh yeah the scale is really really good okay uh with the with the neca with the neca turtles all right so let's compare him to just some other um some other mouse well two other mousers okay the first one i did a review on this check it out on the channel I'll put a link in the description this is a third party mouser okay um you can get this on a showsy store i dubbed this uh uh the best mouser and um, I, I still, I think I still stick by it because um, it's just a really solid mouser. By the way, though, this is an expensive mouser. This pack of this mouser is, if you look, watch the video, it's a four pack with two skateboards and two mouser, mousers. And the whole thing costs 60, I think 60 bucks. So if you divide that t by four or whatever, this ends, up, this is, ends up being like a 15 to $20 mouser or maybe 15. The skateboards are probably where the price comes from. But these are, I think, probably the best mousers, but... I don't know if they're super cartoon accurate, okay? And um, here's what they look like together. Again, I'll do some comparisons, but uh, this mouser is obviously much bigger, okay? And um, he's got more articulation, but not that much more, okay? Um, it's it's uh, uh, more articulated uh, because uh, it's got a ball joint on the, on the body and where it meets the head, uh, so he can kind of like look all the way up versus this guy who's just got the one uh, on the body, okay? So you got that. And then you got the, uh, this guy can spread his legs like this uh, versus this mouser who it's just a swivel there. And then, sorry, one last one is the toes. The toes can articulate. But other than that, that's really the difference. And uh, obviously the difference is in sculpt. But 
Um, in terms of cartoon accuracy, in terms of like just having an army of mousers, I mean, these are great. These NECA ones, I, I love these. Okay, these are these are great mousers, and they look they look a lot better. Not that they didn't look good in pictures, but they look a lot better uh, in person. Um, and now let's compare them just to the Super Seven one. Here is the Super 7 Mouser. This is the only one I have is the glow in the dark one. I'm going to make the assumption that they're all going to be built like this in the Mousers pack that Super 7 releases. Um, so this obviously is a giant Mouser um, in comparison. But I will say uh, not a lot of articulation on this guy. I mean, his head swivels, his mouth opens, okay? And then these swivel. This is... Uh, the, the NECA one kills this Mouser. If this is what... Super 7 comes out with in terms of the Mouser packs, I can say right now with confidence that Super 7 is going to lose the Mouser game, okay? I know that articulation isn't the only thing, but come on, man. You can't articulate the hinges right here, okay? You you, you, you can't do more than a swivel on the head. Like, I, I, I don't know. This thing looks archaic now, so I, we'll see. We'll see if the Mousers get upgraded, but right now, I'm loving these Mousers. I'm loving this Mouser pack, okay? Uh, to sum up, uh, this is a. I think this is a great value. I know. I know this whole thing costs what thirty bucks, thirty five bucks. I think it's fucking worth it. You get one, two, what seven mousers, all these rats. Uh, you can army build, okay. And uh, by the way, I did mention AliExpress, not just to tell you guys where I got it from, but to let you guys know that if you missed the the NECA boat, you can still technically get these for cost. You know, this whole thing cost me. I think when all said and done, it cost me 40 bucks or something to get to here, okay? That's with shipping. So, uh, uh, you know, th there's, you're, you're, not, you're not shit out of luck if you missed uh, that first uh, NECA, NECA window. So uh, that's it. That's all I got. Let me know what you guys think of the Mouser Pack. Uh, I'm excited to get more in. I'll have a big fucking army. I'll surround Baxter Stockman. It'll be fun. We'll have a good time. We'll bring some pizza. And um, I'll uh, just kind of like tweak my display now accordingly uh, with this new army of Mousers. I just can't wait. I can't wait to just pepper them all over the all over my... Uh, my uh, diorama there so uh let me know what you guys think mousers in uh did you get them did you like them do you agree um I, I i think they're uh they're amazing my wife loves this one with the rats sticking out of his ass she thinks that's funny <laughs> so so you you you've got the wife's approval and that's really all it counts so anyway guys that is all for me uh let me know what you guys think drop me a comment drop me a like and subscribe and we will see you next time all right